Hi everyone. Today uh, we are going to see another question for P6. The question is going like this. There were some marbles at a shop. The ratio of the number of red marbles to the number of blue marbles was 2 is to 3. So the ratio of there are two types of marbles. One is red and I'm going to say the other is blue, right? The ratio of the red marbles to the blue marbles is 2 is to 3. And then this is before or at first. So I'm going to just call this as before unit. The units that are used to represent the red marbles and the blue marbles, I'm going to call them as before units. So then the when 50 more red marbles and 30 more red marbles were added so that's the change here so what is changing in this case both the red marble and the blue marbles are changing red is changing by 50 additional and blue is plus 30 and after adding this the ratio of the number of red marbles to the number of blue marbles became 5 is to 6. So I'm going to just as consider this as after units 5 is to 6. The reason why I'm putting this as before unit and this is after unit is the size of this you these two units the size of them are the same but the size of this unit and the size of this units here they are not the same. So now I'm going to take the red marbles first see what is happening in the red marbles see for the red marbles two before units right and when that when 50 marbles or 50 red marbles were added was added to the two before unit it resulted in or it was equal to five after units similarly now let's talk about the blue marbles what happened in blue marbles is the three before the it there was three before unit and when 30 marbles were added to it it became six after unit all right so now we need uh, some ways in which we can actually substitute uh, the, the B unit here for example is equal to whatever here in the second equation since both units are both quantities are changing we have to go by some kind of equation and we either have to make the after units the same or the before units the same if you want to make the before units the same we know we go by LCM LCM of 2 and 3 right so in this case what we're going to do here is say times 3 here because 3 times 2 gives you 6 similarly 3 times 2 gives you 6 so that's the LCM for us here for 2 and 3 is 6 here now let's multiply 3 times 2 is 6 before unit plus 3 times 50 gives you 150 which is equal to 3 times 5 is 15 after units we do the same for here 2 times 3 gives you 6 before unit plus 2 times 30 gives you 60 which is equal to 2 times 6 12 after units now we're going to take these two and subtract them so 6 before units minus 6 before units gets cancelled 150 minus 60 gives you 90 and 15 minus 12 after units gives you 3 after units so you now 1 after unit is equal to 90 divided by 3 which is 30 so one after unit represents 30 marbles. 
Now, the question is how many marbles were there at first? So we have to find out the before unit. So for the before unit, we can use one of these here. Let's say I can just take this, for example, right? I can take this and then substitute the value of after units in this equation. I'm going to change the color to red again. Say two before unit plus 50 is equal to five after units, which is one after unit we know is 30 right so 5 is 5 times 3 150 now 2 before units let's minus 50 from both sides of this equation that we have so what we would get is this is gone minus 50 150 minus 50 is 100 so 1 before unit this means one before unit is equal to 100 divided by 2, which is 50. Now, at first, there were two before units of red marbles. So, the number of red marbles becomes 2 times 50, which is 100. Now let's look at the number of blue marbles, three units. So blue marbles is three times 50, which is equal to 150. So that's how we solve this. It's a bit messy around here because of lack of space, but uh, the main thing to note here is both quantities change. When both quantities change, then we have to actually write them as before units, what is the change, and then the after units. And then we try to compare them and then write them into two equations. As you see here, we need to be able to cancel out one of the units. That's why we find the LCM here and multiply that to it, and then subsequently get one value, one unit value and then so use that to in one of these equations to get the other uh, unit value hope this helps thank you for uh, viewing this if you have any comments please uh, put it in the comment box if you have more questions please put in there i will try to answer as soon as possible and if you like this video please do like the video click on the like button and you can share this video please subscribe to this and have an awesome, great day. Thank you.